So where did you get those reeds? They grow all over the place. In fact, they grow right across the street here. And every winter, I cut down a whole bunch of them. I reach way down to catch the thick part of the plant and uh, cut them, take them home, and turn them into pens. That's one of the things that kids keep as a souvenir. At the end of the week, they have a reed pen that's got two points on it, a souvenir of clay that their teacher will have fired, I hope, a chewed Egyptian paintbrush, <laughs> and a hardcover book that they made themselves. We get the cardboard and we color the canvas using the color wheel, and the text is made by me, and the kids take their pencils and three holes and string and put the inside of a 17-page book into the hardcover that we make in class. We are going to see what it's like to be a purple people kid and to write with their tools. But this is a stylus. The word style comes from this. And what you're going to do is write on the beeswax very lightly. Look at your stylus like a horse's hoof and pull towards yourself to erase away whatever white pens are there from the last kid. Pretend it's a secret message and you got to really keep it secret, you know, because it's uh, nobody else's beeswax. <laughs> and will you lightly write on the wax tablet an Aleph the Ox? Your eyeball was called your Oyen. I can see you with my Oyen. Right? These grow right out in our pond right here. And I find them and I cut them off and I take them home and turn them into pens. This is going to be a pen. Like in Egyptian school, you could never fall asleep, could you? Right? Yeah. And then I trim it just one more bit. That's a pen. And on your scratch paper, will you try and make some letters that are about the same size as on page 17? Now I'm going to make one here. It's got a thin, thick, thin. Kids are concentrating. I can tell. I can read it. That's the question. Can you read it? Here's the sound A. And here's the sound A. Ah. Now we use the letter A for both of those, don't we? Now, will you take your pencil and circle the sounds in your name first on this side, okay? No double letters. And notice that E and F are the same two reed tops that I waved at you the other day. Arrange them within the cartouche to make your name into a royalty name. Pull out the rush plant. And we're going to turn it into a paintbrush by chewing on it. Ready? Watch me do it. You do it. Chew, chew, chew. Twist, twist, twist. Does it taste like dessert? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, put water into the red well, and then once it's halfway full, then take your paintbrush and stir up that red ink. And we're going to use our paintbrush to paint two places. The red sun with the wings. These are coloring in the, the uh, suns, the two suns, and the wings, but not the cobra. Can you make an X that has a thick and a thin to it? Here's the X. It's got a fat way of doing it and a skinny way of doing it. If you can make an R, look what you can do. Make another R next to it. Diamond, vertical, 
diamond with a long diamond attached to it. Look what could happen to that good old R. The, the bottom the half of an I fits onto it to make the letter N. And let's make a C. It's three quarters of an O. Watch. When I fell asleep, and I guess I'm going to be a C. And see if you can extend out that ABC, ABC at the top with your pen, making the exact same size letters that are already there. Tool. So her page turns sideways. Okay, now go back down to where your line is and see if you can make that letter C. Yeah, now make a D. Oh, yeah, the only thing that's missing is a good ink flow. Otherwise, you've got it. Great, now you timber it out of that red cloth. Yeah, you guys live near Blandonville. And you press down on it, jiggle, 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 lift, lift, lift. Cool, you cover it with cloth. We squeeze out the extra. You got a chart page waiting? Yep, right there. Okay. Pick it up by the bunny ears. Won't it fall off? I know. Okay, just put the seats out of the way. Ooh, that's a cool one. That's nice and thin. Lay that down on your parrot page. The next kid could lay out the red cloth. Timber. Boom. Jiggle and lift. Jenny, just put it right there. You need the top of the top. Jenny, there's all those. You need the top of the top. Jenny, there's all those. Let that go. Let it go. Let it go. What do you see to the tree? Timber. Boom. Press down on it. Any questions so far? You could be by any color. Except for orange. You can be by any any color but orange. Look what happened. You guys followed those color wheel rules. So here comes a piece of canvas for every kid. If you're happy with how it is placed, mark around the edges of the cardboard so you could pick it up and put it back down. We need to put just the right amount of glue, so I'm going to bore you. You put a line around the edge of the clip, using your little finger to spread it. And go around to all four corners, turn it in your table in front of you, so that you can get them all to be nicely landed. With my non-writing hand, I pick up just the top piece of paper, the one with the map, and I've got my pencil in my right hand, and I'm going to poke a hole through. Watch me do it. Take that head and send it through the middle hole and then out the side hole. You take your glue and tame the snake. And icing around the edge, icing in the middle, and I spread just with my little finger. The snake goes right down on the spine. Just like this? Yep, lay down the snake on the spine. Clean your hands off. Wave them back and forth like the Sargasso Sea. And I'll be the fish that swims the most. All of the books. Ah. And now we get good ideas. Ah, great ideas. Oh, delicious ideas. I show you my respect. You guys so, so, so rock. There's a way to say thank you, teacher. Can you smile? Does anybody remember this one? Let's give it a try. We put our hands together and we let a bird go. Give me a teeny pot. 
Now give me a big goodbye. Bye.